ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली जनवरी 22 वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू बिकम कंप्लीट प्योर सो दिस इज द प्राइमरी कंडीशन टू गो टू द गोल्डन एज therefore don't cause anyone sorrow so to if you wanted to become pure <coughs> condition number 1 don't cause anyone sorrow condition number 2 do not perform any sinful actions with your physical organs and condition number 3 constantly continue to follow the father's orders father is giving order so baba says continual follow ba father's orders <clears throat> question what is the way to change from a stone to a philo- philosopher's stone philosopher stone that is paras paras means golden <clears throat> that is you can say intellect which illness becomes an obstacle in this if you wanted to change from a stone to philosopher stone what is the obstacles answer in order to change from a stone to a philosopher stone you need to have the full intoxication of becoming narayan and your body consciousness has to be broken so two things first thing we must have a intoxication to be something that is to become narayan and for that primary condition is body consciousness is to be broken it is this body consciousness that is the most severe illness where in the way to become nara until you become soul conscious you cannot become a philosopher stone only those who become philosopher stone become the father's helpers only by our doing service will your intellect be made golden in one way to make our intellect golden that is philosopher stone is to do service for this you need to pay full attention to studying in everything based study om shanti the spiritual father questions you spiritual children children consider yourself to be confluence aged we are confluence aged brahmins we are not in the iron age not in the golden age you cannot consider yourself to be golden age only you brahmins consider yourself to be conscious age all others would consider themselves to be iron age there is a lot of difference between the golden age and the iron age between the residence of heaven and residence of hell <coughs> you are neither residence of heaven nor residence of hell you are residence of the most auspicious confluence age only you brahmins know this confluence age no one else knows it because no knowledge no knowledge of self no knowledge of the supreme and no knowledge of the drama time so no knowledge of the confluence age even though you know it you forget it Baba Sri, we got the knowledge, but still we are forgetting that we are confluence aged. Now, how can you explain to people? They are trapped by the chains of Rama. The kingdom of Rama doesn't exist now. They continue to burn the effigies of Rama, which proves that this is the kingdom of Rama. Because Rama is the enemy. Nobody will, you can say, burn the effigy of their deities. everyone will burn the effigy of ravan effigy of their enemies so it is a kingdom of ravan it is a iron age it was that's the reason people continue to burn effigies of ravan you understand number wise what the kingdom of rama is and what the kingdom of ravan is number wise as per our experience the father comes at the confluence and so the golden age and hell are compared with each other now only at this time we can compare the golden age and iron age 
if anybody is an iron age, he don't have any experience with the golden age. And when we move to the golden age, we forget totally about past. So it is the only confluence age where we have a experience of both, which is narrated in the scriptures in terms of physical things. That is a fight of goodness and badness. Those who reside in Iron Age are called the residents of hell and those who reside in the Golden Age are called the residents of heaven. <clears throat> those who are residents of heaven are called pure and those who are residents of hell are called impure. Everything of yours is unique. So you know this most auspicious confluence is. You understand that you are Brahmins. The picture of the plane, plants is very good. You can explain using that picture. You should show the contrast so that people are able to understand that they are impure, poverty stricken residents of hell. You should explain the contrast of Iron Age and Golden Age. You should write, this is now the old Iron Age world. In a Bhavasa big letters, in a very clear letters. Heaven, the golden age is the new world. Are you residents of hell or residents of heaven? Are you deities or devils? None of them would say that they are residents of heaven. Some think that they are sitting in heaven. People particularly who are rich, who have all the facilities of the world, all the comfort of the world, they feel that or they think that they are in heaven. Baba say, oh, this is hell. Heaven means no sorrow at all. Where is the heaven, the golden age? Golden age means golden age, everything golden, which we can't see here anywhere. This is the kingdom of Ravan, and this is why people born an effigy of Ravan. It is not a Ram Raj. It is not a kingdom of Rama, it is a kingdom of Ravan. And that is the reason people born effigy of Ravan. <clears throat> Those people have so many answers in the world, so much logic, so many answers, why they are doing. There is so much debate about God being omnipresent. Everything, what they believe, so much debate, so many criteria, so many concepts that nobody is clear. You children very cleverly ask, cleverly ask, so that they, will, they should not feel bad and their feelings should not be heard. Hurt. So we should ask very cleverly, what is the question? Is this the new world or the old world? Let them decide. Give the science of the old world, what is narrated in the scriptures. That Kajin brothers are fighting. Nobody, you can say, credit he is at the safety. Everybody is at risk. So Baba says, let them decide. You have to show such a clear contrast, very good Brains are needed for this. Intellect's brains means. Brain doesn't mean the physical part of the body. You should write tactfully so that people ask themselves. People ask themselves, not to us. You should leave on them. Judge yourself. Am I resident of heaven or of hell? Second question, is this an old world or a new world? Is this the kingdom of Rama or the kingdom of Ravan? Fourth questions, are we residents of an old iron age world or of a new world? You should write this in Hindi and then translate into English and Gujarati. Whatever the language we want. Let people ask themselves, where am I resident of? They should ask to themselves. They should understand what they mean. When a person dies, people say that he has gone to heaven, but heaven doesn't exist now. Even people say he has gone to heaven, it means that it is a hell, not heaven. It is now the Iron Age. So surely rebirth will also be here. The Golden Age is called heaven, so how could anyone go there now? It is the Iron Age world. All of these things have to be churned. The contrast should be shown very clearly. Right, God speaks. Each one of you should ask yourself, am I resident of the Golden Age Kingdom of Rama or a resident of the Iron Age Kingdom of Ravan? 
ask yourself. You Brahmins are residents of the Confluent Sage, but no one knows you. You are completely different from everyone else. Dharma say, you are totally different. We understand the difference here because we have knowledge. You know the golden and iron ages accurately. Only you can ask, are you vicious, corrupt being or voiceless, elevated beings? Ask the questions. You can write a book on this. You have to write a new things through which people can understand that God is not omnipresent. Baba says, put the ideas. When they see what you have written, they will enter and ask you about it themselves. When writing is very clear, then they will ask to us. <clears throat> Everyone would call this the Iron Age. Everyone, Baba says, because everybody knows the condition. So, Baba says, everyone will, by seeing itself, seeing the condition of the world, they will call this the Iron Age. No one could call this a Golden Age a deity kingdom. Is this hell or heaven? Write such a first class article that people can understand that they truly are impure residents of the Iron Age and that they don't have any divine virtues. There cannot be any one golden age in the Iron Age. Not possible. That's the reason people saw the date is vision. They are flying in the air. They cannot touch even to the world, touch even to the earth, which is not pure. Turn the ocean of knowledge in this way and write these things. Anyone who takes the initiative is Arjuna. Arjuna means who urges to God to give the knowledge. Arjun. Arjuna's name is mentioned in the Gita. Baba says everything in the Gita is like a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour. There is so much difference between the sugar and salt. Sugar is sweet and salt is salty. Now, let's see the difference between two. By writing the Gita, God Sri Krishna speaks. They have made the Gita salty. People are trapped so much in that book, in that book. Nobody knows. People knows they are even sinking down and down. The poor ones don't know the secret of this knowledge. God only speaks this knowledge to you. No one else knows it. Knowledge is very easy, but some forget that God is teaching them. They even forget the teacher. Otherwise, students would never forget their teacher. They repeatedly say, Baba, I forget you. Baba says, Maya is no less. Baba never blame the children because Maya is too much. It is a kingdom of Maya. Otherwise, children, basically, they were pure. You have become body conscious and are committing a lot of sins. Body consciousness means we karma sinful actions. There isn't a single day when you don't commit any sins. Because every moment now and then we are flipping between soul consciousness and body consciousness. The main sin you commit is that which is the main sin, very important today, Baba told, that you forget the father's orders. The father orders you. What he orders? Man, mana, bhava. Consider yourself to be souls. You don't obey this order, and so you will surely perform sinful actions. Sinful acts, why? Because we are becoming body conscious. Body conscious means we are creating differences and doing the act. There are many sins committed. The father's order is very easy and very difficult. No matter how much you beat your heads, you still forget because there has been body consciousness for half this, half this cycle, for 2500 years. So it is go so much deep in our soul, that is in our sanskars. It is difficult to remove. Some are unable to say it in accurate remembrance for even five minutes. If you stayed in remembrance throughout the whole day, you would reach your karmati stage. So 
it is a proof we are here we are not reaching karma at this stage it is a proof that we are not soul conscious completely the father has explained this requires effort without effort no proofs <clears throat> you study worldly studies very well in the world people are studying very well you have so much practice of studying history and geography we all have experience however you have no practice of the pilgrimage of remembrance at all to consider yourself to be a soul and to remember the father is something new <clears throat> Papa says it is something new why because up till now nobody told us like this the consciousness says what conscious says conscious says we should remember such a father very well you take little time to eat a piece of bread but that too he is in remembrance of baba the more you stay in remembrance the purer you will become there are many children who have enough money for them to live on the interest baba says if enough money is there don't break your head simply continue to remember the father and eat the piece of bread that's all however maya doesn't allow you to stay in remembrance however much effort of you made in previous cycle you will make the same effort now so baba says past is past whatever did we have to forget we cannot change the past this takes time so it takes time to be a soul conscious it is not possible for someone to race ahead quickly and reach there here you have two fathers the unlimited father doesn't have a body of his own he enters this one that is dada and speaks to you therefore you should follow the father's rimat the father gives you children this rimat forget your bodies and all bodily religions and consider yourself to be souls this is his first rimat and without being soul conscious we cannot remember baba you came here pure and then while taking 84 births you the souls become impure initially we were deities we were soul conscious we were pure you now have to follow srimat in order to become pure he is given srimat why to become pure to become deities only then will the father guarantee that your sins will be cut away and you will become pure souls then you will receive a pure body there without being pure soul body cannot be pure those who belong to this clan will listen to you and begin to think about these things they would say what you are saying is right if you want to become pure don't cause anyone sorrow <clears throat> first condition what is the title of the mulli don't cause anyone sorrow become pure in your thoughts words and deeds baba's purity is very high not like the worldly purity where people are living household and they become pure thoughts beginning then words then deeds storms will come to your mind you are claiming the unlimited sovereignty whether you tell the truth or not the father himself says many sinful thoughts of maya will come but you mustn't perform any sinful acts through the physical organs you mustn't commit any sin through the physical organs so you should write this contrasting things very clearly sri krishna takes the full 84 births whereas shiva doesn't take the birth this one is a deity full of all virtues oh sri krishna and that this one is the father so the contrast between sri krishna and the supreme god father shiva baba you have seen how they have made such big images of pandavas big images this include this or this indicate that they had such big broad and unlimited intellects so how to indicate intellects intellects has no shape no physical existence so how to indicate they indicated in terms of their big images they had big intellects but those people then portrayed them with big bodies no one else can have such a broad and unlimited intellect as you you have 
godly intellects. On the path of devotion, they make such big pictures and waste their money. They have made so many Vedas, scriptures and Upanishads and incurred so much expense. The father says, what he says, you have been wasting so much money. The unlimited father is now complaining. You feel that Baba gave you a lot of wealth. He taught you Raj Yoga and made you into kings of kings. Some study a worldly study and become a barrister, etc. and then earn a huge income. This is why it is said knowledge is a source of income. This godly study is also a source of income through which you receive the unlimited sovereignty. There is no knowledge in the Bhagavad, Bhagavad or the Rama, etc. Bhagavad, it is a big scripture where or the characteristics or characters of Sri Krishna, he is being portrayed. But that is character of Sri Baba. Charitra. There is no aim or objective, etc. Baba said, Ramayana and Bhagavad, there is no aim and objective that to become equal to Krishna or that to become equal to Rama. <clears throat> the knowledgeful father sits here and explains to you children. This is a completely new study. And who is teaching you? God. He is teaching you to make you into the masters of the new world. Why is teaching? Why he has come? To transform the world. And that is what God, when we call him very seriously, very deeply, that's the reason he came, because our basic characteristic is not sorrow. Characteristic, basic characteristic of soul is happiness. Lakshmi and Naran claimed a high status through this study. There is a vast difference between the king and the subjects. If someone's fortune opens, his boat can go across. Students can understand whether they are studying and whether they are then able to teach others or not. <clears throat> you should pay full attention to the study. Because of having stone intellects, they don't understand anything. You have to become those with golden intellects. Only those who stay in service will be able to make them golden. You can also explain knowledge to someone by using the badge. Claim the unlimited inheritance from the unlimited father. <clears throat> Baba, why giving the badge? Because of service only. It is not a show, not of anything else. So we can give the introduction of Baba. Bharat was heaven. It is a matter of only yesterday. There is so much difference between something being 5,000 years and something being hundreds of thousands of years. When you explain to them, they don't understand anything. Why? Because it is as though they have completely stone intellects. We have also the same kind of stone intellects in the past. Our intellects become golden intellects when we come to Baba, listen the Mughali step by step. This page is like the Gita for you. It includes the whole study. People only remember the Gita on the path of devotion. Lakshmi Narayana page, Asparatya, Baba's page, all base. They give the total knowledge of Gita. Through the Gita that you hear from the Father, you receive salvation for 21 months. Not that physical, logic devotional Gita. You are the ones who started the study of the Gita in the beginning. We started. You are ones who started worshipping. You now have to make effort and liberate poor people from the chains of the path of devotion. Continue to explain to someone or other, and one or two will emerge from them. If five or six people come together, you should try to get them filled in palms individually and explain to them individually. Baba say, as far as possible, do the courses individually. Even fill up the form individually. Why? Because everybody will then argue. So many people can argue also. And some people who have a faith, they will also lose their faith because of argument only. So Baba says, know the, to know the pulse of the people, to know the basic what they know, we have to fill up the form individually. 
otherwise if even one person among them he is not good he would spoil others so everything will be spoiled instead of abba service this service will be there you must definitely get each one of them to feel in a form separately they should not even be able to see one other one another form they should not copy down <clears throat> then they would understand because if they copy down they will not you can say think what they are writing so they should think they should initiate among themselves you need to have all these tactics because only then can you become successful the father is also the businessman those who are clever will do good business the father brings so much profit if a group comes at the same time tell them to fill the form individually if they are all religious minded get them to sit together and ask them have you studied the gita do you believe in the deities baba has said that you should only give this knowledge to the devotees which devotee baba say my devotee shiva's devotee and the devotees of the deities will quickly understand to change a stone into a philosopher stone is not like going to your auntie's home baba said it is not easy body consciousness is the most severe the most dirty illness of all there are so many illnesses in the world out of that baba say body consciousness is the most dirty illness everything start from that <clears throat> until your body consciousness is broken it is difficult to perform your to reform yourself to reform ourselves means to become pure from impure soul consciousness is at most necessary for this you need to have the full intoxication of becoming narayan we came here bodiless and we are now have to return bodiless when we came first time we came as a soul and now we have to go back as a soul what is there here the father has said remember me this requires a thought without effort and no fruit the destination is very high you can tell from their behavior which ones will become good helpers as they did in the previous cycle from their behavior from their actions one can judge whether they become helpers of baba or not acha to the sweetest billboard long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and spiritual children love remembers good morning and say namaste to the spiritual father मीठे मीठे सिकल दे बच्चों प्रति बात पिता बात दादा का याद किया और गुड मॉर्निंग रूहानी बाप की रूहानी बच्चों को नमस्ते हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते शुक्रिया बाबा शुक्रिया एसेंस फॉर धारण नंबर वन रिमेन प्योर इन योर थॉट्स वर्ड्स एंड डीड्स वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आवर थाट्स be cautious that you don't perform any sinful acts through your physical organs in order to make yourself the soul pure yourself means the soul not body you definitely have to stay in remembrance point number 2 in order to be liberated from the severe illness of body consciousness what we have to do maintain the intoxication of becoming nara practice for that what we have to practice i came bodiless and now i have to return home bodiless because supreme abode nobody can go with either physical body or subtle body we have to go bodiless today's blessing may you be a soul what kind of soul who as well as having yoga and contacting conducting yoga also has the speciality of experience experimenting with yoga we have to experiment baba's remembrance in our practical life so baba explains bab dada has seen that you children are clever both at having yoga and conducting yoga so just as you are clever at having yoga and conducting yoga in the same way 
become clever at experimenting with yoga and enable others to experiment. Without experiment, there is no experience. There is now a need for a life of experimenting with yoga. So we have a special wing that is Spark Wing Spiritual Application and Research Center, where all kind of this experimenting is being done. Even experiments has been done in universities, agriculture universities, what is the effect of yoga on plants and productivity. And everything is proven now. First of all, check to what extent do I experiment with transforming my sanskars. This is because elevated sanskars are the foundation of creating an elevated world. If the foundation is strong, then all the other things will automatically be strong. Slogan, experienced souls can never be influenced by any atmosphere or be colored by any company. If you experience, no effect of anything on us. But doesn't mean that we have to do that experiment. That we do something wrong and experience whether it is okay or not. No, Baba says we should not be influenced by atmosphere or colored by any company. Doesn't mean that we should go in a wrong atmosphere or wrong company. But suppose we are there by chance or by accident, it should not be. Om Shanti. With Avakti silence, experience the double stage, angelic stage, double light, angelic stage. But today's point, you will become one who is always swinging in the swing of happiness. One who removes everyone's obstacles and makes everyone's difficulties easy. When you have determination in your thoughts and your stage is double light. Nothing is mine. Everything belongs to the Father. When you keep the burdens with you, all type of obstacles come. Baba said, don't keep burden. If nothing is mine, I am then free from obstacles. Acha? Oh, Shanti.